Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Hey, Aaron here, back in the Palo Emilio. Let's see if we can get a great, ga a great game and a great replay for you guys. Fletcher having a big... <laughs> yeah. 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 That's all right. It, those games happen, but it's just frustrating when it's uh, when it's it's uh, cross, you know, it's five on five instead of like nine v nine. <laughs> so, tis what it is, though. Let's get a better replay for the Yolo here. We are located, so it could be any of the destroyers because of the new perk. As we have tr twist and track ourselves. But yeah, the playstyle of this thing is uh, it's it's pretty unique. You definitely don't want to play it like a true destroyer, um, but it's still not like like the Kaba and the fact that you can play it like a gunboat because of the reload time. So we'll see. We have team support. Battleship's going... I don't know where he's going. Support the side you spawn on. Set it eight times. Hello. Should have launched those torps earlier. Twist and track. Not the most accurate. But speaking of the guns, you can and will absolutely decimate uh, players if they decide to uh, if they decide to test you. This is this Venom is soon to find out. Can we get the dev strike? No. Slowing down too much. Let the no. That's right. Just dodge. Just dodge. Just dodge. Okay, one destroyer over there. Repair. 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 You wish you're good at gearing, fist. Gearing's easy. Just shoot stuff. There might be a destroyer right... Yeah, he's right there. No, I'm... Oh, well. You left decap. There are his black hole torps. Should be able to outrun them. Yes. Right, time to YOLO. He's right here. He's like right here in the cap. Arm, please, arm. Thank you. Woo! Well, that was a little too close. <laughs> May have been a slight, slight brown pants moment, but uh, we're still wearing our, wearing our brown pants proudly. But yeah, I, as as you can see, guys, this enemy uh, flank here was rather aggressive. Uh, all destroyers off the board, so we are good to go in this bots department. Um, and Albemarle is still on the board. It looks like he's back there, though. So let's go on. Let's go on the the, the YOLO mission. Probably could have saved our uh, our speed boost. It would have been helpful now. But you do you do go an incredible uh, 44, I think. Yeah, let's get up to top speed here. Did that hood back up? Well, we're in the thick of it now, boys. Use your smoke! Problema risolto, signore. 
slow down to 3-4 speed. You can see the little orange marker there. Um, it, that's the speed you want to be going at. He's got us on RGA. He's turning his guns, but it's too late for you, my friend. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, thanks for playing. We're gonna go down. Let's see if we can get three death strikes before we do, though. Torpedoes in the water! Torpedoes off starboard beam! Go, baby. Go, baby. Go, baby! Go, baby! Yeah! Goodbye! <laughs> oh man you know what that's a fun video let's go and throw that on youtube just absolutely obliterating the enemy team with the, the yolo three dev strikes one flesh wound that's just a fun game we got absolutely pooped on there at sea but uh that's that's kind of how you should use the yolo um hopefully our team wins this we killed all three destroyers pretty quickly so i'm not sure what that's the bismarck that spawned on our side by the way i'm um, not sure what our team is doing but hopefully they can pull it through this is he low it's an albemarle dude you can overmatch his bow georgia out here two caps to one hopefully this game doesn't last eight minutes but uh, average average console player right there <laughs> that's right keith let's go baby beautiful thanks guys Hopefully, let's let's watch a little bit of this game play out, um, and then commentate from the dead like uh, all the good players do, and then <laughs> and then we'll see. Uh, those are LB torps. We're gonna take one right on the tip. That's where I love taking it, dude. Just overmatch him. You just, just overmatch him. That was fun to watch. Hey, appreciate that, Tom. Yeah, but something to note, too. Why are you turning broadside? Oh, my God. This is how you lose games. This is how you completely throw games right here. Just, just, uh, hopefully he dev strikes him. Come on, baby. Do it. He completely missed. I think he hit his antenna. Uh, we're going to lose this game. I, we killed all three. Uh, that's just incredible. Let's, that's all right. We'll remain optimistic. George is low. The Albi's kind of low. Helena is still behind this island, has yet to move. We are up 100 points, so even if they... they I feel like this game is going to go the whole seven minutes. I'm trying to do the video here. Skillant. <laughs> Just the right amount of excitement. Yeah, that's right. Oh, do it, North Carolina. Come on. Land. Nice. Albi is squishy. No. Greatest Albemarle player ever. Um... But something to, to note real quick is you're, you're not going to get too far in the YOLO if you just YOLO straight in. Um, the guns are very good. You can play it like a light cruiser, as you saw. We were playing it from distance out here. Um, and when you get your opportunities, it, you can YOLO. Uh, you do have just enough health to get one or two off like we did there and and, and survive. Uh, the Minsk was a little bit of luck, a little bit of, you know, we played the cap. We knew where he was. We had RPF. Uh, he, he blinded his vision, and we stopped shooting, so we weren't detected from the right. Beyond that, you, you still need to fulfill your roles as a destroyer. Try to get the caps. We tried to. The Benham pushed. We, you know, we have seven defend ribbons. Um, and our team is going to lose this game because they just... I don't know. No, no, no clue. Bismarck, who spawned on our side, dies in A cap. Um, North Carolina is going to go down. Unless he can kill the Albemarle, who's full health. The Albemarle's played well. You don't want to take credit away from the enemy players. Uh, but you actually did some damage. Yeah, dude, your bow can get overmatched. Yeah, this is going to be a loss. It's That's actually incredible. We killed all three destroyers. That's how you throw games, guys, is you overload one side. You don't support the other side. Um, and now, granted, I did YOLO. So, you know, you could place some blame on me. But it's, it's hard to uh, when we check the scoreboard. But... Hopefully this game is over quick and we can check out the scoreboard. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and check the stats of the ships. Of the ships. Of the ship. The Paulo Yolo Emilio. So if you... You need to have... Um, and we are running Luigi. I think this guy might be a little bit better just for the, the Squids Inc. perk, which is the new two new destroyer commanders, finally. Uh, where you get the smokescreen deployment time at 50%. 
and the dispersion time at 50%. Uh, so I haven't tested it, but as you saw, if you go full speed, you will outrun your rolling smoke. Uh, so if you just tap the three quarters speed, you should be okay. But honestly, you just need to close the distance from that six kilometers down to the three, which most ships at tier six and seven have RGA. Uh, so it, it doesn't really matter anyway uh, about the uh, about the smoke too much. 27,000 hit points, that's with Sims as an inspiration. Six to 60 millimeters. You do have a big chunk of 60 on the side plating there. Uh, so you can shatter some low caliber HE. Guns, they're pretty good. Yeah, there's the loss. Two by... 4x2, 135s. Uh, we have Citadel, some Ochakovs. Reload time is absolutely abysmal, though, at 10.7. Torpedoes, they hit harder than anything at Tier 7 with 24,000 max damage. Uh, they're pretty fast. We do have them increased by 4 uh, four knots there, so they are 67 base, 71 uh, that we got them upgraded to. Uh, AA, irrelevant. If you get hunted by a carrier, you're dead. You can shoot down some planes, though. Maximum speed, 44.8. Turning circle is a small bus. Rudder shift 4-2. Concealment 5.9. You can get it down lower, but guys, this this isn't like a concealment destroyer, you know. Uh, the range on those torps also is 6 kilometers. So don't be stealth torping all the time. You know, you, you got to play this thing kind of like a, a Minsk uh, Tashkent without the upgraded torps. Um, a Kaba, you know. You, you got to play it at mid-range. Um Kind of up close and personable. Use your health. Uh, you know, don't, don't put yourself in positions that you you're going to get focused, because you can and will get focused pretty easily. Um, now, if you need to YOLO, you can. With your with your health and that rolling smoke, it makes it incredible um, to do that. But let's check the... Yeah, just incredible teams today. Yep, top on the board by 700. That's... Oh, God. Like we said, this Albi played well. Um, three dev strikes, flesh wound there. It's just... The solo win rate is abs is the most useless statistic in my game for this reason right here. But 100k um, in this game too. What was? Oh, that was painful. That one was painful, really. The, sh the short games we were talking about. But uh, yeah, guys, that is it. Let's go ahead and do a brief overview of the ship. Honestly, like I said though, this ship is just fun. We're gonna do a lot of memes on this ship, meme build Mondays or whatever Peak likes to call it. And uh, yeah. Overview, big yield, guns of plenty. I don't know why that's not really guns of plenty. It's the same as some other ships, but fast. Um, and then the Polo Emilio, relatively large, very high speed armored Renaissance recon Renaissance reconnaissance ship with a powerful main battery developed by the Asanaldo company under Project UP39. Apollo is the predecessor of the Captain Light Cruiser. So you can see it's pretty much a light cruiser. It's pretty big, um, but they classify it as a destroyer, just like the Siegfried as a cruiser. That is the ship, guys. It is available for Global XP. It's a fun ship. Um, and in a division, I think I need to change this down to this. But, oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope it was fun, informative, and gives you guys a good first look at it. It is available for Global XP, so don't be wasting your Global like I did on the Kansas. Um, although, we're, you know, I'll have to buy the ship again once working removes it from me. Let's see if we can sneak it out of there. If we can, you know, maybe give uh, Takani or Prince or Robin 20 bucks there. But, yep. <laughs> That is the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. A run out.